supporters greeted Trump when he arrived in Doral today, but there were protesters there as well. And Local 10's Leanne Morajon is live now with what both sides had to say. Leanne. Yeah, and they were excited to see him. Many trying to make eye contact through his very dark tinted windows. There were a handful of detractors at one point, both sides uh, coming together and shouting at each other with some unsavory language. In the end, police did step in. Bottom line, the supporters that wanted to see Trump through did so. Former President Donald Trump gave a thumbs up through a dark window as he arrived to Trump National Doral, greeted mostly by a crowd of supporters ahead of his scheduled Tuesday appearance in federal court. You feel like he was, you know, yeah. connecting with you. <laughs> you know, there's Linda again. <laughs> we love Trump. I thought, okay. We love him here in Florida. We love him in Miami. We follow him anywhere. And we'll do anything legal to, to stop this. Even though not everyone we spoke to said they read through the 44 page indictment or looked at the photo and text evidence contained therein, they all believe his legal trouble is part of a larger plot to bring him down. It doesn't go nowhere. This is another hoax, uh -huh. another liar. A lot of things they want to bring him down. Nearby, Senator Rick Scott expressed similar sentiments. At a press conference with former Latin American political prisoners, Scott said the Department of Justice is targeting Trump unfairly. We cannot use the Department of Justice to go after political opponents. As simple as that. Back outside Trump National Doral, police stepped in to separate a handful of anti-Trump protesters after a brief shouting match with Trump supporters. Lock him up! Dominic Santana got his point across with a sign and a jail jumpsuit. I grew up in New York City. I know what a con artist he is. And that man right there, as well as several of the folks that we spoke to who support former President Trump, say that they will be demonstrating once again tomorrow as close as they can to the federal courthouse. For now, reporting live in Doral, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News. Some reports say hundreds are heading that way. Thanks a lot there, Leanne. Stay with Local 10 for the very latest. On former President Trump's arraignment, we will have live team coverage on every step of the way.